It's so ah. okay. Oh, tell me when. We're good now. Okay, <laughs> are we live? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're here with Leah Ramey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and we just want to learn about you. So okay. can you tell us your background and where you went to school and sure. some of that? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so I studied linguistics here in Champaign at the University of Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did a program in arts journalism in Syracuse, New York. So background in journalism, writing, communications. Um, I did some PR kind of work and marketing type work too. Wonderful, yeah, yeah. she is an excellent writer. Actually even published, helped us get published. This, <laughs> you can take a look at our at exhibition uh, magazine maybe. <laughs> That's Arkansas. Oh, well, we'll show you later. We just got published in exhibition and Leah was a big part of that. Um, so let's see, how long at Taylor Studios? I've been here just over two years now. Over two years. Yeah. It's been a wonderful addition. Oh, thank you. And what is the favorite thing to do that you do here? Oh, goodness. Um, I just, I really enjoy the teamwork, really, throughout the design process. Mm -hmm. um, I love the actual writing part. I guess that's uh -huh. probably where my heart is. But, yeah. um, but even in the early stages, kind of the planning and the brainstorming and the idea generation, all of that, I really enjoy. I uh -huh. love the sketching too, even though I'm not very good at it. But, uh -huh. um, yeah. yeah, yeah, diversified skill set. Leah, she can, <laughs> she can do some graphic design work. Her writing is excellent. Um, even project manages some. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, we're really blessed to have her. So let's see. Well, what's some, what's one of the most interesting things that's happened to you since you've been at Taylor oh, Studios? Goodness. Um, well, every day is an adventure, that's for sure. <laughs> every project is an adventure. Um, I would say, so we often, when we go um, see clients and do workshops like early in the design process, um, usually that will include a tour of their site or of their resources or what have you. Um, so it's fun because sometimes we get to go hike, we get to yep. you know, explore these great natural areas or museums. Um, we for get this paid one to project, hike sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but this one project, the the content related to um, just environmentalism really and so a lot of recycling and um, composting sustainability type things mm -hmm. and one of the exhibits was going to be all about a landfill and so for part of that the what the tour was was a tour of a landfill uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> which um, was different first um, time you've ever toured a landfill. first time I've ever toured a landfill awesome. um, getting dressed that day was very interesting because I'm like what do I wear that I can give a presentation in but also traipse through a landfill <laughs> uh -huh. so I had to bring a change of shoes mm -hmm. um, but it was actually fascinating it was mm -hmm. really neat to see and learn about um, just all the science and engineering that goes into those and how um, how much thought there is put into you know making them safe and Mm -hmm. um, as eco-friendly as a landfill can be uh -huh. um, and just the energy recapture that goes on so it was, it was neat because it's something that you know relates to everybody like we all deal with waste right. management but um, kind of a look behind the scenes that I hadn't ever experienced before. Uh huh. So, right. Yeah. Is that your favorite job that you've worked um, on so far? You know, I. <laughs> it's definitely one of them. I. It's really hard to pick an overall favorite. Yeah, I because know. Because every I, project I'm with you. is different. Which right. Is one of my favorite things about working here is that it is mm -hmm. always um, something different to learn about, something different to dig into, and you're always meeting a lot of fascinating people with different backgrounds. Yeah. Because of that. But yeah, that one was, I would say that's a favorite. A favorite. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that interesting? So her favorite <laughs> is on, on sort of, a, well, environmental, but being green and waste management. Yeah. And, and yeah. that was in Indiana, right? Where was that? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yep. Hendricks County. Hendricks County, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got diverse subject matter that yeah. we talk about. Yeah, yeah. Very much so. I mean, I really haven't had nothing as cookie cutter here um, by any right. means. So I've had that. I've had. Um, you know, parks and natural geology st stories, um, you know, fossils, wildlife, like all kinds of different topics. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So what are you working on now? Um, right now I am in the middle of kind of our final design phase where I'm actually writing full exhibit copy for two different projects. One is a state park and one is um, another county department. Um, it'll be kind of an environmental center as well, mm -hmm. conservation center. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's down to the nitty gritty on those. Yep. Um, and uh, but yeah, I like this phase a lot. It's uh, it's fun to see everything kind of really take shape at this phase. Feels more tangible mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. 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 So if you uh, were encouraging somebody to work here, what skill sets would you tell them to oh, get? Oh goodness. Um, well, I think the great thing about working here is that there are so many 
amazing people with a lot of different skill sets that they bring mm -hmm. to the table. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really cool. I would say something that anybody in any role could probably benefit from is um, learning, and we kind of do some training on this with like crucial conversations and things like mm -hmm. that, but um, really learning how to be a good listener. Mm -hmm. um, I think because we are so collaborative, that is important interpersonally within the company, mm -hmm. but also, you know, we're partnering with clients and organizations and often we have limited face time with them. Right. So mm -hmm. um, at the start of a project, especially when it's kind of all the idea dumps and all the research and things like that, um, just developing those listening skills and being able to understand like not only hear their ideas, but hear the ideas behind the ideas, kind yeah. of the intention, um, so that, that so active listening. It yeah, I think a a really every role could, um, that'd be an important yeah, skill Yeah, I think everybody have. could yeah. probably improve that skill. Yeah, everybody could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, uh, one of our clients just recently, you know, I asked them what's, what's different about working with us, and oh. they did say, you guys listen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, isn't that great? That's really, yeah. yeah that's and really so nice it's really important. It's such a collaborative effort, and it's really, it's all about them and their story. Mm -hmm. So we have to listen to their story, right? Mm -hmm. You know, to yeah. bring it into 3D form, that's a crucial skill, and, and make sure we're providing them what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's like herding cats, though, because <laughs> I, our clients have diverse teams, too. Yes, right? absolutely. So but sometimes. We love cats. We love cats. <laughs> Wait, and dogs. And, dogs. and, and, and horses. <laughs> horses. <laughs> yeah. But it's interesting because they each have their own goals. And so I think part of what you do as an interpretive planner, maybe maybe you can mm -hmm. describe that briefly. Like, sure. what does an interpretive planner do? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So the interpretive planner, uh, early on in the design process, um, we're very involved in kind of that initial brainstorming and the workshopping of themes and kind of the overarching messages that's going to help connect all the different content areas of the exhibit and provide like a cohesive takeaway message um, for the visitor. So it's a lot of kind of bird's eye, big picture stuff in the early stages. Um, and then as the project moves through design, um, which is kind of where I'm at now in my projects, we get, we work our way down into the details. Mm -hmm. And so the later phases, you know, we're writing narratives that describe the physical exhibitry that go into our deliverables um, and then eventually we're writing the actual text that will appear on the graphics or mm -hmm. the narratives that you know the audio transcripts or whatever the mm -hmm. media is mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's uh, it's kind of an it's a neat job because it's very you kind of get both you get to do like the big picture lofty idea stuff but then you also get to do the like nerdy grammar uh -huh. <laughs> red pen stuff right. at the end so yeah I really like that balance. Yeah. It's really tough to write to an audience, um, you know, a museum or nature center audience, because it has to be brief, but still <clears throat> tell them the central story. Yes. And so when I said herding cats, it's sort of <laughs> like you've got to get all the clients on board to that sort of central theme mm -hmm. and what their central story is, because uh, visitors will be confused unless you have a cohesive message yes. and storyline. And yes. so, so she has to sort of get everybody on board on their team. And one member, a curator, might be interested in a certain area, and the director might be interested in something else and mm -hmm. and the you know their interpreter might be in, interested in something else so you mm -hmm. so her role is to get them all on board to the story the mm -hmm. central story and then distill everything down to what a visitor will reasonably absorb given yeah. people's attention spans and the right. time that they have to spend on site and yeah. that kind of thing yeah, yeah. to it to a certain degree, she's a visitor advocate because yeah. e every client wants to tell a whole bunch about their story. Mm -hmm. But as a visitor advocate, you kind of know they're not going to read it all. <laughs> <laughs> so, true. so well, we've gone on for a little while. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you've enjoyed this. Uh, she's a great member. I hope you get to work with her. Maybe uh, for a moment, though, you could scan the exhibition article so oh, people yeah. can uh, here we can walk over here and and they could also say hi to um, King. Uh -huh. <laughs> So get this issue of exhibition and Leah and I and a couple other people here wrote an article together so it takes a team at Taylor Studios mm -hmm. so and our article is that we built that by the way <laughs> <laughs> that's at the World War One Museum in Kansas City let's see well you guys can go find it it's on durability and let's see what I don't remember the name do you designing, designing durability. durability so go to page 78 of this exhibition article and go check us out and maybe hey. king can say hi hi king oh, hi, hi king. king he can't have nice things notice Aww. he's ripped everything up <laughs> well thanks for joining us we really are glad to have you and hope you liked it mm -hmm.